welcome to another episode of What, what Have We Here. I'm Hetal. I'm Anu. And in this episode, we are going to show you a list of our favorite TV shows. So I know in these times, Netflix and Amazon Prime are flooding up with a lot of new shows, a lot of original shows, and yet somehow we always find ourselves going back to these shows. We have listed down ten shows that we feel are the most closest to us. Without any further ado, let's dive into the video. On number ten. We have small wonder. La, 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 la. She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curls. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at your sight. She's a small wonder. And she'll make your heart take flight. This show was about an engineer who builds a robot and passes off as his adopted daughter. Whenever I talk about this show, it basically takes me to an older time when I was like a kid and enjoyed watching this show. The best part about the show was the cool concept that it had. And everybody back there wanted a robo for himself, who they could call their own sister or brother. Number nine, we have Mr. Bean. Again, speaking of nostalgia, it's not complete without having Mr. Bean as a part of your childhood. So, like small wonder, we also grew up watching a lot of episodes of Mr. Bean. This show is about the daily life of our odd, weird Mr. Bean. The best thing about this show is they said a lot without saying anything. That's the kind of comedy that the show had back then. Mr. Bean has not only been a part of our childhood, but he also has shown us a lot of qualities and values that we need to hold close to our hearts. One of them being, you need to be proud of who you are, and it's okay to stand out of the crowd. He always is seen with his little teddy bear hanging around, and that just shows that sometimes, even though we grow up, it's hard to let go of some things that we hold dear to ourselves. So, Mr. Bean very beautifully demonstrates the inner child that is there in all of us. On number eight, we have Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire was about the story of a teenage girl, how she lived her life through her high school and her drama at home with her younger sibling. The best part about this show was that she had her own cartoon version as her inner voice. This show very beautifully represented crushes, best friends going through ups and downs together. On number seven, we have the haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. Now, this is one of the horror shows that made to this list. When we talk about horror shows, usually they are either very good in plot or they are good at giving good scares. But this is one of those very few and rare shows where they have balanced the plot line as well as the scares. This show revolves around the life of a family that moved into the haunted hill house. The beautiful thing about this story is the entire narration. I love how the story has been executed along with all the hidden messages for the hidden ghosts in the past. And last but not the least, the incredible cast that is there in this show. Each character is different and dynamic and has their own individual personality which is showcased very well by all of these actors. On number 6, Veena comes to my mind when anyone says Sherlock is Benedict Cumberbatch. The best part about him is every time he starts talking and the things that he starts talking, you can actually visualize those things. We could see the details in this show were carried out so wonderfully that you could actually relate to everything that was going on on screen. All the characters again in this show are wonderful. Sherlock, I also enjoyed watching all the other actors and the characters that they played, Adler, Moriarty and Mycroft were some of my favourite actors. The best part about the show was that you actually saw the entire journey through Sherlock's eyes. At number 5, we have The Mid. This show is about a middle class family that is stuck in debt, right in the middle of Indiana. Now this show is really very underrated but it is funny, it is relatable and it is hilarious on so many levels. It is about a mother, Frankie Heck, who narrates the entire story of her life with her children and her husband and how they cope up with everyday struggles of life. They have three kids, 
Axel, Sue and Brig. These three are so different from each other. The differences are hilarious. Axel is a cool kid with good football scholarship. Sue is someone who is stuck in the middle like her family and tries everything but miserably fails a lot of time but never gives up. She's quite optimistic. And then there is Brig. Again, the weird, odd kid but at the same time intelligent, clever and smart. One of the things that we love about the middle is how relatable the show is. It's about regular families actually saving each other. On number 4, we have an action-packed show, Arrow. This show is my personal favourite. The best thing that makes this show my personal favourite is Stephen Amell. I have like this huge crush on him. And who wouldn't you guys? Stephen Amell has done his stunts himself in this show. This show is about a rich boy who gets stuck on an island and then has to learn to deal with life's struggles. He learns everything and comes out a changed person. A person who dresses up, hooded at night and shoots arrows without looking. The best thing about this show is how the character development happened for Stephen Amell's character, Oliver Queen. You almost fall in love with him. The next best character that I like was Felicity. She was the beauty with brains. Anytime Oliver used to get stuck anywhere, Felicity was always there to save him. Another personal favourite character of mine was John Diggin, who initially played the bodyguard of Oliver Queen, but eventually turned out his friend. At number 3, we have yet another favourite, White Collar. White Collar. This show is about the dynamic duo between con man Neil Caffrey and his handler Peter Burke. What makes the show amazing is obviously the character Neil Caffrey is so charming and it's played by none other than Mr. Matt Bomer. And next to Neil Caffrey is Peter Burke, a strong authoritative figure. Along with them, Mozzie is another interesting character in this show. This show is very light and crisp and quite humorous also. On number 2, we have How I Met Your Mother. This show is again a very dear show and we kind of relate to it again on a top level. This show is about a guy and his quest to find his the one and eventually after such a long struggle of his romanticism, he ends up finding his the one and then has a family with two wonderful children. The story is about a father who narrates how he ended up falling in love with, the, with their mother. Why we love this show is because of its wonderful execution. You instantly fall in love with Ted's character because he's so selfless and he's such a wonderful friend. The other characters that we like on this show are Lily and Marshall who are a really cute couple and deal with everything together and they never want to part ways. The other character who's a headstrong independent woman is Robin Chubansky. Apparently plays Ted's love interest. And finally, we have Barney legend wait for it, Jerry Stinson, self-proclaimed Ted's best friend. It's a story about five friends and how they deal with everything that comes their way just so they can find Ted's the one. The one. <laughs> and at number one, it's Supernatural! <laughs> Supernatural is a story about two brothers who hunt everything that goes bump in the night. But people have been watching this show for 15 years. Yes, 15 years and that's saying something. They know that this show is more than just about hunting ghosts. It's about two brothers, Sam and Dean. It's about their relationship with each other, with the family, and how they deal with everything that's thrown in their plate. There are a lot of reasons to love Supernatural. And we can actually have an entire video just on reasons why we love Supernatural. Yeah. But what makes this show beautiful is the amazing chemistry between the actors that play the brothers, so Jared Padlegi and Jensen Ackes. <laughs> One of the important characters in the show is the 1967 Chevy Impala, also known as Dean's Baby. So this show starts from a very simple story about these two brothers hunting all ghosts and demons and then dives deeper into a lot of mythical aspects and takes a biblical turn. We have grown up watching this show and we kind of relate to this show on lots of levels. The sibling love, the bickering, the way they talk to each other, the way they fight for each other and the way they are always there for each other is something to always look forward to. The show has given everything that the family